This video shows you how to use the motion detection features of your Ring floodlight cam. It's important to know that your floodlight cam is equipped with two separate motion detection systems. Each system is designed for a specific job, and each can be customized to meet your needs. The first motion detection system is dedicated to turning on the floodlights, so it uses sensors that cover a wide area. The second system generates the motion alerts that come to your phone or tablet, so it uses advanced motion detection to prevent false alarms. Using the camera, this system only alerts you to motions inside the motion zones you specify. It can ignore movement you're not concerned about, such as cars passing in the street. It can also tell the difference between people and other moving things. Keep in mind, because the floodlight sensor covers a wider area than the motion alert sensor, some movements can turn on the floodlights without triggering a motion alert. Now let's learn how to configure the two different motion detection systems. In the Ring app, tap your floodlight cam to open its settings screen. First, let's look at settings for the floodlight sensor. In the settings screen, tap here to look at light settings then here to set the motion zones for lights. In this screen, you can toggle each of the three sensors off and on and set the distance at which sensing begins. You can also specify the length of time that the lights stay on after the detected motion ends. If you'd like the floodlights to stay on during certain times of day, tap here to set up a light schedule. Tap here to enable the schedule, then set the start and end times. When you're done, tap here to save. Of course, you can always manually control the lights, and if motion is detected after dark outside of the scheduled on time, the floodlight is triggered as normal. Next, let's look into the motion detection system that sends you motion alerts. Tap here to look at motion settings. This slider lets you choose to receive alerts only when a person is detected or when any motion occurs or somewhere in between. To set up a motion zone, tap here. To add a motion zone, tap here. Then just move the points to surround an area that you want floodlight cam to watch closely. To save, tap here. To add additional motion zones, tap here and repeat these steps. If you'd like to disable motion alerts at certain times, tap here to set up a motion schedule. For example, if your garbage is always picked up on Tuesdays between 7 and 8 a.m., you can choose not to receive motion alerts during that time. We hope we've helped you understand the motion detection systems of your floodlight cam. Understanding the roles they play lets you get the best from your floodlight cam. For more information, see our other floodlight cam videos or visit our help center at ring.com help. With Ring, you're always home.